Install the camera module with the M1.4 multiple 6 self-tapping screw. You can change to a longer cable for the camera. Install the camera module. Note that the self-tapping screw needs to be installed perpendicular to the acrylic panel. If it's difficult to screw, you can try to change the other side of the panel to install. Due to the laser cutting process, both ends of the same hole are not with the same size. Install the side panel of the camera module with the M3 multiple 12 screw and M3 nut. Install the rocker arm of the servo. The angle is as shown in the figure. The rocker arm can be rotated 90 degrees clockwise from this angle, or it can be rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise from this angle. Fix the servo to the servo bracket with the M2 multiple 10 screw and the M2 nut. Fix the rocker arm to the side panel of the camera module with the M2.5 multiple A screw and the self-tapping screw included in the servo package. Install the other side panel of the camera module with the M3 multiple 12 screw and M3 nut. Fix the battery holder to the side panel of the car with the M3 multiple 12 flat head screw and the M3 nut. Fix the side panel on the other side in the same way. Position the wire of the battery holder so that it passes through the notch on the side. Use the M3 multiple 12 screw and M3 nut to fix the tracking module to the lower panel. Make sure that the interface of the tracking module is on the right side, otherwise you need to rewrite the program to make the tracking function work properly. Connect the tracking module with a 5-pin cable. Pass the camera cable through the hole in the top of the robot head and then fix it on the Raspberry Pi. Pay attention to the orientation of the cable interface. Install the motor with the M3 multiple 35 screw and the M3 nut. But you need to prepare the M2.5 multiple A screw, M2.5 multiple 10 plus 6 copper standoff, and the M2.5 multiple 14 copper standoff before installing the motor. First, fix the M2.5 multiple 10 plus 6 copper standoff on the left side panel. The left panel is as shown in the figure. If you would like the Raspberry Pi HDMI interface to face down, then fix the copper standoff to the right on the panel. The left and the right panels are the same structure, and the orientation of your battery holder determines whether the side panel is a left panel or a right one. After installing the motor, install the Raspberry Pi on the copper standoff. Then install the M2.5 multiple 14 copper standoff to support the robot head. Fix the robot head to the M2.5 multiple 14 copper standoff with the M2.5 multiple 4 screw.
install the motor of the other side. Here, pay attention to the installation method of the motor and try to get the wire into the car as long as possible. We can pass the wire through the hole in the side panel. Pay attention to the white stripe on the car light. The wire needs to be connected to the car light from the end with the white stripe and then to the next car light from the other end of the car light. Pay attention to the installation method of the car light. Wrong installation may cause insufficient length of the wire. Install the ultrasonic module and the car light with the M1.4 multiple 6 self tapping screw. Connect the ultrasonic module with a 4 pin cable. Connect the 2 pin plug of the battery holder to the robot head. Connect the 5 pin plug of the tracking module to the robot head. Connect the servo wire to the PWNZ rope on the robot head. In fact, you can use any PWN port if you don't plan to expand it in the future. The same signal is given to all PWN ports in the default program. Connect the 2-pin wire of the motor on the left panel of the car's heading direction to the port motor B of the robot head. The one on the right panel is connected to the port motor A. Connect the ultrasonic 4-pin cable to the 4-pin port written with ultrasonic of the robot head. Don't make a mistake, the other 4-pin port is used to connect the MPU6050. They have opposite anode and cable. Wrong connection may cause heat and irreversible damage to the module. For easy connection, first pull out the 3 pin wire on the car light and then connect it to the 3 pin port on the robot head. Install the lower and front panel. Put them together first. Fix the panels together with the M3 multiple 8 screw and the M3 multiple 60 copper standoff. Note that the 3 pin wire of the car light needs to pass through the hole in the side panel. Connect the first car light and then connect to the next one. Note that the wire passed from the end with white stripe and through the end without white stripe. And then connect to the end with white stripe of the next car light. Install the camera bracket to the lower panel. Install the upper panel. Note that the upper panel is not a symmetrical part. If your Raspberry Pi HDMI interface is facing up, you should let the largest rectangular hole of the upper panel face to the upward facing interfaces, which you can use them conveniently. In short, the largest rectangular hole in the upper panel should be biased to the left side of the car's heading direction, otherwise your camera will not be in the most middle of the car. After the final coffee standoff is installed, the body part is assembled. Install four wheels. Pay attention to the shape of the holes in the wheel. 
Only in the right angle can it be installed.